Horrifying moment. How Ukrainian forces wipe out Russian troops and tanks near Avdivka. Russia has once again stepped up attacks on the Ukrainian town of Avdivka and is almost certainly attempting a pincer movement to encircle the town, reports on Thursday said. Moscow's forces are using armored vehicles, targeting the industrial zone and hitting positions in the town around the clock to strike high-rise buildings. The town's mayor, Vitaly Barabash, said on national television, It is very hot. Indeed, in the last few days, the enemy has become more active, he added. The British Ministry of Defense in an intelligence report said Russia is almost certainly attempting a pincer movement to encircle the town. It said Russian forces are likely near the town's huge coke plant in a key tactical position, close to the main road leading to Avdivka, the Modi added. The plant dominates the main road into Avdivka and, if Russian forces were to secure it, resupplying the town would become increasingly difficult for Ukraine. However, the industrial facility provides Ukraine with a localized defensive advantage and Russian forces will probably suffer significant personnel losses if they attempt to assault the facility. The industrial town near the Russian-held regional stronghold of Donetsk has faced a fierce onslaught for more than a month. Under fire since 2014, the town has been largely destroyed by shelling. There are 1,131 people left in the town out of a pre-war population of around 30,000, he said. General Oleksandr Tarnavsky, who is leading the Ukrainian counteroffensive in the south, said, Our soldiers are firmly holding the defense in the direction of Avdivka. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky last week described Avdivka as one of the hottest areas on the front line. Russian soldiers have recently advanced on the village of Stepov, north of the plant. Meanwhile, the death toll from a missile strike early Wednesday on a residential building in the town of Selidov, about 40 kilometers, 24 miles, east of Avdivka, has risen to three, the Interior Ministry said. Combat footage released by a Ukrainian brigade purports to show Kyiv's forces, repelling what has been described as a meat storm launched by Russia in eastern Ukraine. The video was released on Monday by the 58th Motorized Brigade, a formation of the Ukrainian ground forces. The post said Russia launched its advance at dawn and fled in disgrace within a few hours. The brigade has been active in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk region throughout Russia's full-scale invasion of the country which began in February 2022. Clashes have been increasing in intensity near the town of Avdivka, which has been described as the gateway to the city of Donetsk. Since October 10th, Russia has poured in thousands of troops as well as tanks and armored vehicles in an attempt to seize the town. Moscow's forces have reportedly suffered high losses of troops and equipment. Russia is said to have accumulated around 40,000 troops for an upcoming fresh assault on the town. Not everyone managed to escape. There were about 50 bodies of invaders left on the battlefield, the 58th Motorized Brigade said. In eliminating the occupiers, the brigade achieved the greatest success, it added. The aerial footage, filmed by a drone, is coupled with dramatic music and appears to show Ukrainian forces firing at multiple Russian tanks and armored vehicles, leaving behind trails of smoke. One portion of the clip shows the charred remains of a vehicle and a soldier covered in flames crawling away from scene. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has described the situation around Avdivka as particularly tough. Anton Kotsukon, spokesperson for the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade, said on November 9th that Russia was building up reserves for a fresh push to seize Avdivka, 
They've brought in about 40,000 men here, along with ammunition, Kotsukun said. We see no sign of the Russians abandoning plans to encircle Avdivka. Kotsukun said Russian troops have surrounded Avdivka on three sides and were playing cat and mouse and sending up huge numbers of drones to analyze Kyiv's defenses. The Institute for the Study of War, a US-based think tank, has said Russian forces have been committing more manpower and material to deliberate and larger-scale offensive operations near Avdivka. The think tank said in an update on the conflict on Sunday that Russian forces had continued offensive operations around Avdivka but did not make any confirmed gains. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces had repelled over 18 Russian assaults near Avdivka. Ukrainian forces conducted recent successful counterattacks near Avdivka and made marginal gains, the think tank added. Выбили нас, орки. 